documentary was the primary event for the 2011 Centennial Celebration. It explained all about the people who made the port, and it was followed by a panel discussion led by maritime journalist Robert Cunningham. And this is what the economy is. It's not a bunch of guys sitting around in suits in a, in a boardroom someplace. And until you come over and see it, you won't believe it. Another experience that made the celebration special was a memory lane tribute where spectators, as well as residents, could share their stories of the port and have them publicly displayed. I just spoke with Pamela Hayden Hale Burns, who is uh, 42 today. She was a reporter for the Long Beach Press Telegram. Her favorite memory is when, on paydays, when she would go to the Long Beach Mall, one day she was approached by an Army recruiter who ended up bringing her into the Army, and after 22 years, she's happily re retiring from the U.S. Army this year. I love that story. It tells us about you know, the importance that the court has played in people's lives. It talks about the importance of the U.S. So, uh, military, and I think it's a great Vice President Susan I was telling Jim how I enjoyed coming to the pipe when I was a little girl. Now my daughter is enjoying the same benefits of the Port of Long Beach here at, at the same age. So this is fantastic. And as the sun set, spectators could gaze out at one of the largest ships leaving the Port of Long Beach. The 100th birthday celebration honored people of the past as well as the present who worked on the waterfront and made the success of this important point what it is today. And it culminated with the musical sculptures of the Long Beach Municipal Band. Julie Marie about Los Angeles.